Welcome back to Film Room presented by Chick-fil-A. I'm Sammy Kincaid and today I have with me offensive line coach Glenn Ellerby and defensive line coach Shane Burnham. Welcome you guys. Thank Sammy, you. How you doing? We've got battles between the trenches. Y'all go against each other every day. I know. We do butt heads a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk about what the defense has been preparing for for FAU. Sure. Uh, you know, everybody knows Coach Kiffin and, and the job he's done on offense, different spots. Um, I think what you're going to find, they have uh, skilled players uh, that can hurt you, whether it's five, Singletary at tailback, one and seven at wide receiver, two at quarterback, uh, 40 at tight end. They got weapons everywhere, and they do a good job utilizing their personnel. So uh, big challenge for us this week. All right, well, let's look at some of the film that you've been looking at. All right, we'll take you here. This is uh, week one, uh, FAU at OU. I think what you're going to see here is just what we talked about with five. Uh, he's very patient back. You can see here, uh, does a good job waiting for his blocks to develop, uh, patient to the line of scrimmage, can jump cut, and then once he gets an open field, uh, he's got the speed and strength to turn a small gain into a big gain, breaks a tackle, breaks a second, breaks a third. Uh, you know, it takes four or five guys to get him down. So the number one challenge, stopping five from getting downhill this week. Excellent football player. Off that, what Coach Kiffin will do here, does a great job utilizing one and seven as receivers on some of these outside speed sweeps. It's really a run uh, that would go as a pass because of the short shovel there from two on the jet motion. But uh, really get edges on your defense. They outflank your defense uh, and let their athletes get in space. Uh, and this shows up quite a bit with seven and one on their jet sweep series. What they do, and it's almost like a counter, if you're Coach Kiffin, you got five faking the run here to the boundary to the defensive right, offensive left. So they're going to hold your interior players because you have to respect five in this ability. Uh, at the same time, you got to be sound on the edge here. And uh, they're putting no number 93 here from Air Force or 90 uh, in a lot of space against a better athlete. So a good job by Coach Kiffin and their staff. Off the run game here, you're going to see uh, – uh, some motion, looks similar motion to what they started on the last play on the speed sweep. Uh, play action to hold your linebackers to keep your front seven uh, and, and your uh, D line at the line of scrimmage. And they'll run these deep crossing routes. And you watch these over routes occur. Uh, they're not getting called for a pick here, but certainly trying to get a pick as they run these routes over the top of each other. Going to make your corners play in space. Uh, and two does a good job, arm strength, to get the ball down the football field. So I think what you find when you watch this offense, Interior run games there with five. They can get on the edge with their speed at one and seven, and then two, and these receivers can get down the field and really present a challenge for you in all three phases. And you're talking about a lot of athletes. There's also a lot of athletes on the offensive side of the ball that prepare you for this. Sure. So let's go ahead and pass this over to Coach Ellerby, who works with some of those offensive athletes, blocking for them, and the what <laughs> the big athletes who block for those right. other athletes. No doubt. Uh, well, you know, you come to this game, you you start looking at um, FAU and who they are, the number one thing that strikes you, or at least it did for me when turned on the scout report or the tape was, man, there's nine, nine stars out of uh, uh, 11 guys from back from last year. So nine guys returning from last year. And that's a lot of football that they've played. And then you start looking at the front and the box, especially um, two and seven, you know, guys that have played a lot of football are really, really good at linebacker. I think two is the all-time leading tackler in school history. Um, Guys, a great football player. And then even up front, uh, guys that really move well. And that's kind of the theme on defense. Once you start putting on the tape is that they are extremely, extremely fast, have great team speed. Uh, I think that's going to be a challenge for us. And, you know, between the combination of them playing a lot of football and being able to run really well, that will be a, a big challenge for us. Watching up front, again, you kind of focus in on two and seven, just kind of the violence they play with. And you see two over the top, the way he can run and go track things down. Every one of them. Uh, you'll see 13 here in a second, and our clip do a great job of being able to spill and get our blocks and just play uh, very, very violent, violent and fast. And again, when you just watch and you see 13 2 start chasing, immediately you know, man, we're going to have to get hats on hats, do a really good job of bottling those dudes up because if we don't, if we don't put a hat on them, they will run sideline to sideline and make every single tackle. Good chance to see like 13 dudes spill, spill, bam. Just quick move. Doesn't look like much, but when you're sitting there and you're coming right at the guy, all of a sudden it's a violent rip inside to be able to go and make the tackle. Same thing, 56 doing a good job playing off the block and getting um, to the tackle. And you watch seven. Again, it doesn't work out for them here, but they are very, very twitchy, explosive right at the point of attack, right before you're trying to go block them. Uh, it makes it difficult on us. Um, and, again, you watch at the end of the clip. You see seven trying to climb up to them. Tyron thinks he has him dead rights. Boom. All of a sudden, it's a quick, sudden movement. He's right past him. Two 
spilling or playing over the top right where he's supposed to be, um, those two guys kind of make it tick for him. And then same thing, ball here is down, everybody chasing, running, trying to create a pile, get on there. They will chase exactly. the ball. Very, very big challenge for us this week. All right, well, good luck, you guys. Hopefully you get another shutout maybe or no, <laughs> get yes. some good blocks so we can yeah. see a lot of UCF fast. But go Knights. Charge, Charge on. on.